Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Hi Gemini, hope you guys are in the best of health, sending you all my love and well wishes. Um, so this is going to be a general, guys, and you know the drill, it may or may not resonate with everyone. And also feel free to swap energies, it could be you or a person you're dealing with or someone in your surroundings. And uh, if it doesn't resonate, you can always get a personalized reading, so please head to my Facebook like page, same name, Moon Girl Tarot, and more. You can message me on there to book an appointment, or if you simply want to say hello, I do totally um, interact with you guys there a whole lot more. I enjoy it immensely, so please do so. Feel free to. And while you're there, please support my like page by uh, liking and following. I would really appreciate that. And as always, thank you for supporting my page, uh, my YouTube channel, sorry, uh, by uh, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. I do read your comment. I do respond, so thank you, thank you. And if you guys would like to bless my channel, you can um, tip or donate through Facebook Pay or Cash App Moon Girl 1111. So let's just jump right into it. We got Forgiving and Learning, clarified by the Five of Swords Reverse. Then we have This Could Be the One Upright, clarified by Temperance Reverse. Then we have Honeymoon Reverse, clarified by the Tower, and then a few oracles over here. So Forgiving and Learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay, so... Some of you might be having a hard time uh, releasing and letting go of either a past hurt in the past, a past relationship, a person, a situation, okay? Um, Spirit's guiding you to try to uh, just learn from this experience. Um, take what you've learned and move forward, okay? And it's not always easy, you know? No one's telling you to just forget, but just take the good of it. And in every situation, you've at least learned something. Now, say somebody mistreated you um, and crossed those boundaries with you. What have you learned from that? Ask yourself. I've learned that I'm never going to allow, and the keyword is allow, someone to mistreat me that way ever again. I'm never going to allow myself to be put in these types of situations. Okay? Um, so take what you can learn from this and move forward because this was all in divine timing um even if it was something very um hurtful and painful you had to go through it was put in your life for a reason to push you forward to to uh move you forward to where it is you need to be now so if you think back where you were you know and to where you are now or where you're going to be i mean there's big differences now you know your life is moving towards something else and if you would have been stuck in that situation, you would have just been stuck there. You wouldn't have the opportunities opportunities, or new things in your life that are happening now, okay? So maybe new events are happening for you, okay? And you wouldn't have been able to do those things if you were still stuck in that situation. So now you've learned things from this, okay? Because I do feel that some of you were having a hard time with the five of uh, swords being in reverse here, having a hard time adapting to changes. And it can be very difficult, especially releasing a relationship. And if you were in a long-term commitment, that's even harder. Um, you know, somebody here might have taken advantage of you or would put you down or, or hurt you, okay? Um, and now we're moving forward to this could be the one. You're You've already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? And it's clarified by temperance. So what I'm getting here is with temperance, and, and uh, this could be the one. So there might have been somebody you've met in your life, and this you could have a soul connection with this person, or even a twin flame connection with this person. And there's a difference, guys. I've made videos, videos, so feel free to look those up. Um... And maybe we could, uh, with temperance being here reversed, this is kind of like hinting at the point that, you know, maybe you weren't able to get this uh, connection off the ground because there was circumstances in your way that were out of control, you know, out of your control. Maybe that person was already with somebody else. Maybe you were with somebody else. Maybe you're both in partnership. Maybe there was a distance here. Maybe somebody lived in a different, you know, state, country, whatever the case may be, okay? But I feel like you've probably already met this person. Um, yeah, uh, also, on the side note, uh, please be careful being near water or the beach, ocean, even in the shower tub. Just be careful being by water, okay? That's just a side note. Now we have honeymoon in reverse. So I'm getting a couple of things here with honeymoon. Honeymoon can be a very like open interpretation here. So I'm going to start off with a few things here. Um, honeymoon being in reverse. Um, for instance, you could have met this person 
or you will meet them when you're um, on vacation or you're out of town. It could be work, it could just be, uh, you know, just a vacation, you're on holiday, whatever, or, or you are going to meet them there. This could also indicate that this person, like I said, is at a distance from you, you know, like I said, with temperance. Um, yeah, they're at a distance from you, different country, city, whatever. Also, this can indicate as well that this somebody wants to travel towards you or you want to travel towards them or you will meet them like abroad or whatever. And then the tarot, I mean, the tower being here, of course, it can mean like shit hitting the fan. But in this case, it also means like fast action movement. So if you haven't met them, you'll meet them and it's going to happen really quick, just out of the blue. Um, or if you already met them, it happened just out of the blue without you even expecting it to happen. It just like very serendipity. It just kind of happened. All right. Um, and then I'm, I have some oracles for you here. The first one is manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. That's lovely. And then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So it totally resonates with um, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right. So I hope this was a good reading for you, um, Gemini. And if it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I so would appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much and stay magical. Bye, Gem.